Okay, so why does all of this econ stuff matter? Um, and why do we even make you take this class? Um, the reason I had you read Esther Duflo's speech um, uh, for this week's reading here is because she addresses some of these points here. And it's, it's a really important speech and really powerful speech that she has here, um, where she argues that you can fix poverty using public policy. It is a fixable issue. Um, we are not locked into to having poverty exist in the world. We can get rid of it. Um, it. She presents it as kind of like facetiously as this easy thing to do. As long as you understand all of these things, you can fix it. But all of these things are like very complicated. You need health economists, education economists, um, finance people, labor people, institutional thinkers, proper incentives. You need good political structures. You need all of that mixed together into this magic potion of fixing poverty with economics. And good luck with that. That's really hard to do. Um, but it's also the way to do it. Um, and so what she argues here is that we need to avoid this notion of institutional nihilism. It is very easy to get discouraged um, looking at the institutional structures that exist right now in the world and trying to fix those so that we can implement better policies. Um, and so what she argues here is that institutions are powerful and path dependency is indeed a thing that we have to consider. Um, it is very hard to, to change these structures, but even within the structures that exist, there is room for substantial changes and improvements. And that economic policies that are rooted in evidence and all of this economic data and the analysis that we've been teaching you to do, um, it can change lives and it can improve people's situations. Um, a practical example of lives being changed by economic policy is this article I, or this op-ed I had you read here. Um, I had you read it at this um, this Mormon blog here instead of at the actual newspaper where it was published, um, in part because um, the comments at the newspaper where it was published are like awful. Um, there's a preview of it here that, where people are saying, I'm not accepting your thanks because I was taxed and I did not willingly give. I wouldn't have supported you. And a dead child was better than a welfare child. That's like horrific. And there are a whole bunch of other comments that are like equally as bad or worse. And so I had you read it here because um, she reposted it here and it's a less toxic environment. Um, but the main point here is that um, public policy allowed her to flourish and to get out of abusive relationships uh, with her parents and um, kind of graduate from college and create a nonprofit to help other people do the same thing. Um, she's now an artist and um, happily married and is no longer in poverty. Um, and that was the result of government policies designed to lift people out of poverty. And it worked. Um, and so you can actually have substantial like influence in people's lives and fix people's um, fix the situations that people are in and improve people's lives using public policy which is really really important um, and um, kind of the reason I am interested in public policy is helping people and I'm guessing most of you are in this class and in this program because you have similar notions and similar goals to change the world and make the world a better place using the public sector and for any of this to work um, you need to understand economic principles. Um, you need to understand the institutions that exist. You need to understand how to analyze um, public programs. And you need to understand how to implement them and the politics behind them. Um, and that's why you've learned all of these basic principles here. Um, you can now do that and you can make good, strong arguments for government intervention um, and um, help encourage the spread of good policies.